Today we've been at the 2014 Sustainability Conference at Atlantic College, um, listening to speakers and outside performers to try to bring that awareness about global sustainability issues and the issues facing our local community. Um, the Sustainability Conference takes place every year around this time and it's always organized mostly by students. The key message for this conference is how linked everything is in terms of sustainability. Um, and also we're, we're trying to get empower people to make decisions concerning sustainability. For me, the key message is how do we live in a sustainable way as a whole, as a whole lifestyle, not just breaking it down into individual subjects, which is energy, food, travel, etc. How do we incorporate that uh, to be a sustainable lifestyle as a whole? It's a really broad, deep idea and concept that, that is actually really related to not only the environment and economics and, and people and humans, but how these ideas and these components are interconnected and the it's not really possible to achieve environmental sustainability without economic sustainability, without human sustainability. We talk about the environment and people as though they're somehow separate um, and I think uh, the work that I do in the, in the conferences like this uh, offer us an opportunity to um, think about how those things are interconnected and how they, we must think about them as interconnected if we're, we're going to see change. Some of the ideas that we've got are, are quite inspirational so rather than the students facing a world where they may have to make do with less and switch the lights off, uh, we're actually saying let's redesign the lighting system, let's come up with some new ideas um, and that's a great opportunity for them to contribute to a new future. Atlantic College has a sustainability council um, made up of students representing each of the houses and then two chairs and today we had the election speeches for the new first year chairs who are going to take on that role for the next year. I want to work with sustainability and get people not only involved but thinking about how they can affect the world positively and to work for as the mission says, peace and a sustainable future. Uh, in the environmental faculty we've been cultivating a large uh, walled garden on the, um, on the campus. I would like to see the valley uh, producing um, large quantities of crops, uh, reaching its potential uh, and I'd like to see that food landing on the plates of students. There's been a growing tide for many years of people being more engaged with green activities, ecological awareness, social awareness, and lots of people are doing lots of things. And it can be really inspiring to go beyond that and think about actually not just how can we live in a way that doesn't cause a problem, but how can we live in a way that really works for everybody worldwide. And the Roundview is about giving a nice simple framework to help us imagine and create that. And what we're really trying to get across is the idea of let's actually stop arguing about the details and let's really start moving towards a positive future where we could do things really, really differently. But we've got some guidelines to help us know if we're going in the right direction or not. Hopefully through this conference and two concentrated days of different workshops, we can create a force where the kids are really engaging with sustainability because you know, they have to do something about it. The future is in our hands, so I'm very positive about that. And I think that's a good message to send out because we do have the capability to, to make the changes that didn't happen in the, in the previous generations. We do have the means to make uh, a sustainable future.